after Rigathi Gachagua had been impeached by the Senate and the National Assembly, MPs, Mutuse seems to be happy and is still hunting Rigathi Gachagua. I don't know why, but I will do the research after reading this and drop one or two, three points why Mutuse is after Rigathi Gachagua. But I want to advise him as a young politician that pride comes before a fall. Even though impeaching Rigathi Gachagua was successful to him, he must also understand that the world rotates. I am not against Rigathi Gachagua's impeachment because I wasn't there with them. That is up to them. I am not interested at all because this government is a toddler government, a failed government which even if it is a matter of impeachment, both Rigadi and Ruto should have gone home. Let me just read what Mutuse is saying. MP Mwangi Mutuse sends message to Rigadi Gashagwa, and this is whatever he is saying. Kibwezi, Kibwezi West MP member of parliament, sorry, West member of parliament, Mwangi Mutuse, has asked to impeach Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa to give way to wisdom as the battles the process in court. Uh -huh. Speaking on Saturday, October 26th, in Tarakimithi County, Mutuse claimed that numbers matter in a democracy after the National Assembly and Senate ousted Gashagwa. Since we finished this work at the National Assembly and went to the Senate, I haven't attend attended public gatherings because I did not want to speak about the matter and look like it was a conflict. So if I don't speak here, you will have to bear with me. But the European says that even strength must give way to wisdom. So when you see that man, Gashagwa, in bracket, tell him he must give way to wisdom because Kenya is a democracy and in a democracy Numbers matter. 282 MPs against 44 said Kenya must change. In the Senate, 53 senators against 13 said Kenya must change. Surely, numbers in a democracy must have meaning, Mutuse remarked. The lawmaker was the mover of the motion that led to the impeachment of Kashagwa. So, from the writing, Mutuse is advising Rigadi Gashagwa just to fuck it. And that is the advice I told Rigadi Gashagwa. But it was late because he didn't listen to me. Allow me to dig deep into this. Why do you think Kibwezi, member of parliament, still hunting Rigadi Gashagwa up to now? Number one is because there are some rumors that court might rescue Rigadi Gashagwa comes 29th. Well, is it 29th? Yes, 29th. Because we were expecting Kithura Kindiki to be sworn in last week, Tuesday. It didn't happen. So Rigadi is still fighting back. And it is a kind of uh, blocking court. This man might have some suspicious move to block the court on defending Rigadi Gashagwa. And that is why he is saying to Rigadi Gashagwa that out of 282 MPs against 44 made you to be impeached. Again, out of, 50, uh, out of 53 senators impeach you against 13. So it is very clear that Rigadi, even if you reported to court for rescue, you must be aware that your effort is not going to bear any fruit. That is what Mutuse is confirming to Rigadi Gashagwa. The third point is that these people, both Mutuse and Rigadi Gashagwa, are now enemies. They are no longer having that good relationship which they had in previous years or months when William Ruto was campaigning as a president in the Republic of Kenya. So the enemies they are in is because Mutuse drafted a bill on regarding Gashagwa's impeachment and it went successfully in the parliament. The senators are now at the court 
as all eyes are set at the court, Mutuse is not happy that Rigadi could have managed to go to the Supreme Court or whichever the court it is, even if it's Milimani, to defend himself. The three judges I'm seeing might be now be used to just to ensure Rigadi vacate. But I'm also suspicious again that immediately when you were impeached by the Senate, what you must be aware of is that regarding Ashagwa was the deputy president before the empress had impeached him. But when the senators now made it successfully for the son of Madeira to be impeached, that moment Rigadi was seized out from the office as the deputy president. And fellow Kenyans, you must be aware of that. There's nothing to lie. Underline seized from the office. I heard some of you were saying that, oh, Rigadi had been returned for security. The government have not announced that. It is just rumors which we are picking from social media. But even if he had been returned for the security officers, I'm seeing William Ruto is having a political game on Rigadi Gashagwa. And Rigadi should also not be happy because he had complained that his life is in danger. Though Amara uh, walikuwa wanataka kuweka poison kwa food yake ile Kisumu event na mambo mingi Rigadi amesema. Ara kuna video clip that is our third analysis. Rigadi is saying about overtaxing Kenyans. I don't want to talk much about that. And you are going to listen to him. So it means that Rigadi also have, is not happy with President Ruto. They are not happy at all. So both of them are ready for war. That is what we can confirm. Mutuse is sent, as I, as I am clarifying, just to confirm to, the, uh, to Rigadi Gashagwa that please don't waste your time at the court. They are ready and they are ready to take you home forever. And if you can again flash back what uh, this man said, uh, Kapsaret MP Oscar Sudi, about Rigadi Gashawa, that he mambo tunatake ishe na ishe forever. And you know that Oscar Sudi, they are the Ruto's close men in this country. Whatever they have said, we must be suspicious and ask ourselves, is this not President Ruto speaking? So as I conclude, Mutuse is now opening a, another war with the Rigadi Gashawa, that he will hunt him even up to the court. And this man, in any case, he is being used by some of the state agents. He must also be aware that life is very tricky. He must stand firm as a leader and he should not have this character. In any case, he is being used. Let the guy fight himself and let each and every person have that freedom of expression to express him or herself. Nothing wrong on, for the guy to defend himself at the court. There is nothing wrong. Anyway, that is what Mutuse have said to Rigadi Gashagwa. Meanwhile, drop your opinion at the comment section below. I rest my case at this point. Bye bye, and let's meet on another political discussion. My name is Charles, and be blessed.